Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Thursday, March 5th. A two alarm fire in Redding leaves two people dead and several firefighters injured. That call came in around nine last night to the 700 block of Schoolkill Avenue. Firefighters had the blaze under control within about an hour. United Airlines and JetBlue announcing they will cut flights in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. Meanwhile, New Jersey has announced its first presumptive case of coronavirus. That patient is a man in his 30s. And police are looking for a man who they say ordered his dog to attack a good Samaritan. Surveillance video shows the suspect taking his dog out of his SUV at a gas station in North Philadelphia. That dog then attacked a 62-year-old man in the middle of Broad Street. And now let's get a check of the forecast. Here's meteorologist Larissa Abreu. Larissa. It's going to be such a lovely day out there. Janelle, go out there and enjoy it because that's not going to last too long as an, our next storm system is set to bring us rain and snow tomorrow. But for today, it's going to be nice. 52 degrees Philadelphia, 49 for the shore. Temperatures will be in the mid 40s for the Poconos. Lots of sunshine around. Beautiful afternoon expected across the Delaware Valley. A storm system will be approaching us as we head towards Friday, bringing us dreary conditions to start our day. Showers will be moving in, and then as that colder air mass begins to settle in place, that rain will be switching over into snow primarily Friday night and into your Saturday morning. As far as accumulations are concerned, we're not looking at significant amounts, just enough though to cause slick travel. Keep that in mind as you plan your Saturday. It's also going to be cold out there, Janelle. All right, thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.